The following program is sponsored by the Medicine Center Pharmacies. We'd like to remind our listeners our program is also available on our podcast. You can search your favorite podcast app for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Listen to our program anytime. You're listening to News Talk 1480 WHBC and Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Now here's your host, Paul White. Good morning and welcome to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. I'm your pharmacist, Paul White. We're very glad you joined us. It's the 10th anniversary of our Health Matters show and the 45th anniversary of our company. Today we're featuring a program about Medicare's annual open enrollment period, which begins October 15th. Before we begin, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Studio Arts and Glass, and of course, our socially distant technical producer, J.D. DeAngelis. Today, Brad and I are broadcasting from our administrative offices, and our guests are Mike Novelli, Vice President of AltCare, and Denise Fogel. I believe she's listening. Is that correct? Yes, I am. Okay. Hi, Denise. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Primetime representative, primetime sales representative. Good morning, Mike and Denise, and welcome to the show. Morning, Paul. It's good to have you here and be with you virtually and and in a socially safe environment. We're excited to talk about the open enrollment period. If you're becoming eligible for Medicare or currently eligible for Medicare, you know that it is the time of year when you are bombarded with phone calls, letters, and all forms of solicitation for different Medicare plans. It is the annual open enrollment period from October 15th to December 7th. One recent study shows that 9 of 10 Medicare patients are not in the plan best suited for their needs. It's not surprising because, frankly, what could be more confusing than selecting the best Medicare plan for you? If you find Medicare confusing or you're concerned that you're not in the best Medicare plan, our show today is dedicated to you. We want to help you be in that 1 of 10 patients who found the best plan to meet all their needs. Please join us today and learn about Medicare plans during open enrollment. We'd like to remind our listeners that our program is available on our podcast. Just use your favorite podcast app and search for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy, and please subscribe. So, it's an exciting time in our pharmacies as we celebrate our 45th anniversary by giving away $45 gift certificates to anyone who stops in to register at our stores. I would like to take a moment and announce the winners of this week's 45th anniversary drawings. Our Canton location, Sarah Arnold, is the winner of a $45 gift certificate to Lindsay's Restaurants. At our Minerva location, James Arnold, is the winner of a $45 gift card to Grinders and Above. At our Louisville location, Janelle Keenan, I believe is correct, from Louisville is the winner of a $45 gift certificate to Anastasiades exclusive chocolates. chocolates. Please stop by and register so you have a chance of winning next week. We are giving away certificates to Lindsay's Restaurant, Anastasiades Chocolates, Grinders and Above, Beyond, and Kishman's IGA. So, Mike, welcome to the show. Please tell us a little about yourself and introduce yourself to our listeners. Okay. Uh, my name is Mike Novelli, and I'm <coughs> Vice President of Sales and Retention for AltCare and Primetime. I've been in the business for about four decades, so I've yeah. got a lot of experience during this period in, in a Medicare-eligible person's life. So we're really excited to share a little information about what people should be looking at during this time. M- Medicare be la- began in the 60s. Is that correct? Lyndon Johnson was president. Am I about right there? You are exactly right. Harry Truman was the first enrollee in Medicare. (laughs) And uh, Lyndon Johnson uh, went through the sign-up ceremony with him, and it was recorded Mm. for history. Wow, how interesting. And Denise, welcome to the show as well. A little bit about yourself, please. Um, Yes, good morning. Um, My name is Denise Fogel. I am a sales and education representative with Primetime Health Plan. I've been with the company uh, about 13 years, and um, I love to be able to help explain uh, Medicare and educate folks so they can pick the best plans for them. So, during this time of the year, we hear a lot about AEP, and it isn't a reference to our utilities. What is AEP and when it comes to Medicare plans? 
Okay, great question. AEP stands for Annual Election Period, and it applies to those people in Medicare that are enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan that sometimes has a drug program in it or a standalone Part D program if you also have a Medicare supplement. It's important that people look at their plans annually to determine whether or not it still fits. As Brad talked about, uh, we don't always do a good job examining whether or not the plan we're in is the right plan for us. What type of changes do beneficiaries make during AEP? Well, they can change plans uh, during AEP. They can um, go into another plan and, and elect that plan. They also can look at plans within one specific um, health plan. Like, for instance, Primetime Health Plan offers four Medicare Advantage plans. And so you can look and see if the plan you're currently in is right for you or if you should make a change to a different plan. Every year, Medicare Advantage plans change, and every year, the formularies change connected with the prescription drug plan. And I'm sure uh, you as pharmacists are quite familiar with when formulary changes occur. And if M Medicare covered individuals aren't aware of those changes, it could affect their cost at the point of sale. So it's important that they review those things. So let's say someone misses the time frame to change during AEP. What's next? Well, Medicare allows those currently on a Medicare Advantage plan to make an opportunity to make one or more changes during the Medicare Advantage open enrollment period. Um, that is between January 1st and March 31st of each year. Um, during that time, you can switch to another Medicare Advantage plan with or without prescription drug coverage. Um, you can disenroll from your current Medicare Advantage plan and obtain coverage through original Medicare and enroll into another Part D plan. Um, and then if you are on a Medicare supplement plan, um, unfortunately, if you miss the 12-7 deadline, you would have to wait until the following year to make a change to an Advantage plan um, unless you had a qualifying event um, because the open enrollment period only applies to Medicare Advantage plan recipients. So, so what's a qualifying event? What would that a qualifying event could be if you move in or out of a service area. Um, maybe your income changes and you're eligible to receive some extra help or Medicaid would be a qualifying event. Okay. So, okay, let's say I'm happy with my current coverage. Do I have to do anything? Well, this is one... Paul, where the government does make it easy for you. If you're happy with your coverage, you've reviewed your plan, and you want to stay where you're at, you do absolutely nothing. The only time someone would have to do something is if they were notified by their plan that their plan was terminating. That happens occasionally. You would get a letter in the mail, and then you would have to go out and find a different plan. But the bottom line is, if you've received communication from your plan about your plan being offered the next year, and you have information about your plan, and you love your plan, and you don't want to do anything, if you don't do anything, you will be enrolled in that plan the following year. So can we talk about why it is important to review the plan options? Sure. Um, as Mike mentioned earlier, Medicare Advantage plans and prescription drug plans can make changes um, to their coverage each year. Uh, for example, um, sometimes premiums can change, co-pays can change, prescriptions can be added or removed from their formularies. Um, some plans might change their dental and vision benefits, um, increase or decrease certain allowances. So that's why it's really important for folks to review um, their plan. Um, and that way they can make sure that if the plan has changes for next year, and they would see that in their annual notice of change, that's a document sent out to everyone. Um, it's really important to review that and uh, take a look and see 
if you're okay with the, the changes for the following year. Um, if, if not, you can certainly make a change by December 7th. Okay. I know there are different types of Medicare plans out there, and I think sometimes that intimidates the patients we talk to in the pharmacy. Can you give us a primer or explain some differences between a Medicare supplement plan versus a Medicare Advantage plan? Sure, and that is a great question. So many folks, when they come into the office, they'll come in and um, say they'd like to get a Medicare supplement. But what they mean is advantage. So it's important for everyone out there to understand that Medicare supplement plans and advantage plans are completely different. A Medicare supplement plan is designed to pay second to Medicare. Um, When you join a Medicare supplement plan, Medicare pays first. The supplement plan can then pick up what Medicare does not cover. Um, Supplement plans, though, do not include the prescription drug coverage. So you would have to buy a prescription drug plan to get your drugs covered. So when you go Medicare supplement, you're usually carrying around three cards, your red, white, and blue Medicare card, your supplement plan card, and then a drug plan card. As to where an, a, Medi- a Medicare Advantage plan, again, is entirely different because an Advantage plan is designed to completely take over for Medicare. When you join an Advantage plan, you no longer use your Medicare card, and, and Advantage plans can include the drug coverage. It's kind of like a, one, a one-stop shop. It's everything rolled up into one. But you've got to you know, follow the rules of the plan. Um, Advantage plans usually have networks of doctors that you have to stay in. Time for our first break. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, pharmacists Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now by visiting MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. We'll be back with more of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy in just a moment. Are you ready for a change? Transfer your prescriptions to the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Hi, this is Paul White from the Medicine Center Pharmacies. Are you looking for the personal touch from your pharmacist and pharmacy staff? Do you need home delivery or custom packaging to simplify a complex medication schedule? Look no further than the Medicine Center Pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia. Bring in your prescription bottles, and we can transfer your prescriptions to the Medicine Center today, where wellness begins. Cleveland Clinic Mercy Hospital wants you to know we are here for you literally and virtually. For our patient's safety, Mercy is providing virtual doctor appointments from the comfort of your home. This service is available for Stat Care Urgent Care, seven days a week, and Mercy Primary Care, Monday through Friday. See our website at cantonmercy.org slash telehealth for office and appointment hours. Mercy telehealth visits are simple, convenient, and can be utilized by anyone who has access to a smartphone, tablet, or computer. Our Mercy representatives are ready and happy to assist you. So whether you are in need of urgent care for minor illnesses and injuries or would like a one-on-one with a Mercy primary care physician, Mercy is here for you. Cleveland Clinic Mercy Hospital telehealth appointments. Learn more at cantonmercy.org slash telehealth. That's cantonmercy.org slash telehealth. Online appointments are considered medical services and will be billed to your insurance. Copays and deductibles apply. Saving money is awesome. Saving money on items you actually use? Fantastic. Hi, Paul White for the Half Off and Out by Store in Louisville. If you think you'll find the same low prices, huge variety, or great customer service at any other store, you'd be wrong. Stop into our store in Louisville and see what great deals we have. Follow us on our Facebook page at Half Off Store to see super specials. Why pay full price? Come in and experience the Half Off and Out by Store in Louisville, next to the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Everyone has been tuned in to where to get their COVID vaccine. We've been proud to serve the community in this process. The Medicine Center offers many other vaccines like shingles, influenza, pneumonia, Tdap, meningitis, MMR, hepatitis A and B, and travel vaccines. Do you need a vaccine? Give us a call at the pharmacy or visit our website at medshoprx.com to schedule your appointment. Medicine Center Pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia, where wellness begins. We'd like to remind our listeners our program is also available on our podcast. You can search your favorite podcast app for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Listen to our program anytime. 
You're listening to News Talk 1480 WHBC and Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Now here's your host, Paul White. Welcome back to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Flu vaccine is in. Please stop by any of our stores to get vaccinated. No appointment necessary, and while you're there, don't forget to register to win Cleveland Browns tickets. No purchase necessary. All right. We've been talking about Medicare differences between supplements and Advantage plans. Um, Can we talk about the benefit of having an Advantage plan over an original Medicare A and B plan? Absolutely. Um, So Medicare Advantage plans can offer some additional benefits that original Medicare does not. Um, For example, um, Medicare Advantage plans can offer some dental and vision, um, gym memberships, hearing aids, teledoc, um, gosh, meals after an inpatient stay. Um, And most importantly, um, Advantage plans offer an out-of-pocket maximum. Um, For those of you who aren't sure what that means, an out-of-pocket maximum is a set dollar amount according to the plan. Um, That is going to be your financial liability of co-pays for the year. Medicare, original Medicare, does not have an out-of-pocket maximum. So keep in mind that out-of-pocket max can protect you um, uh, for very high costs. Also, too, um, some folks who might not have had a Part D plan, okay, and they might incur a late enrollment penalty. Um, Keep in mind, you can still join a medical-only Advantage plan and avoid paying that penalty if that's a problem. If I can jump in, Brad, and just add, the amazing thing to me is uh, nationally 17% of Medicare recipients have Medicare only and don't have a supplement or a Medicare Advantage. And many plans, including Primetime, offer a zero premium plan where they could actually protect themselves financially and it wouldn't cost them anything out of pocket to purchase our zero premium plan. I've always thought that's been one of the, as a pharmacist, you know, we get a lot of questions in the store and we're not allowed to steer people toward one plan or another, but it's, It's fascinating to see the options, but I can also see how it's intimidating for a person to choose. So you just covered, Denise, the advantages of a Medicare Advantage plan, which to me sound really amazing. How about some disadvantages? Are there anything that maybe people should take into account before they jump right in with both feet to an Advantage plan? Absolutely. Um, I'd have to say the only disadvantage is the networks of doctors associated with Advantage plans. Um, Most doctors accept original Medicare, and that basically gives the beneficiary freedom to go to any provider. Typically, Medicare Advantage plans usually have a network of doctors that you must stay in. Um, But with Primetime, we have an extensive network offering access to over 50 hospitals, gosh, including Altman, all of the Cleveland Clinic facilities, um, and that includes Mercy right here in Canton, and uh, university hospitals. Okay, so what happens if my doctor, I'm, I really have a great relationship with that person and they're out of network? Is there an option? Well, depending on the Advantage plan will depend on the network. Um, That is really important when folks are talking to a broker or a sales agent. Providing a list of their doctors will help that person determine, um, you know, what plans uh, that their doctors, the networks that are in. Um, Keep in mind there are HMO plans out there and PPO plans. HMO stands for Health Maintenance Organization. Basically, you've got to stay within that plan's network of doctors. PPO plans have in and out of network. Um, You know, certainly they want you to go in network, but a PPO plan allows you to go outside of the network. If your doctor isn't in the network, you might have to pay, you know, a little more money to go out of network on a PPO plan. Um, Primetime's plan specifically is an HMO POS 
plan. Um, in some cases, you may ask to go out of our network, and this would require prior authorization. Um, but, you know, depending if the service is available in the network, you know, you might not be able to go out of network. So, again, that's really important, making sure that your doctors are in the network. If not, you have to go through that authorization process. Okay, so we get this question all the time in the stores. What happens if I'm on an Advantage plan and go on vacation? Am I covered? <laughs> that is a question I get all the time, and that's a great question. Uh, the great thing about Primetime's Advantage plans is that you have worldwide coverage for emergency room and urgent care. Now, you would be responsible to pay a copay for the service. So, yes, um, you would be covered. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. <laughs> okay. Right. If you can get there today. Yeah. <laughs> or if you want to get there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. What if I have... What if I have to go into the hospital while I'm out of the network? Is that covered? That is another great question. So if you would be out of the network and you would need surgery or inpatient care to sustain your life, you would be covered. Okay. <laughs> I always tell people, Paul, that, you, you know, let's say you're in Florida and you're traveling and you have chest pain, you go into the hospital, they have to do emergency bypass. We would pay that claim as if you had walked into Altman Hospital because that was necessary to sustain your life. Okay. So that's the answer I usually give to that question. Very interesting. Okay, so if I join an Advantage plan and don't like it, Am I stuck, stuck in it forever? <laughs> um, you always have the opportunity on an Advantage plan to change your coverage each year during the annual election period, which is October 15th to December 7th. Um, you have the option to change Advantage plans or go back to original Medicare A and B, um, as well as the Medicare Advantage open enrollment period, again, which is that one is January 1st to March 31st. Uh, for those who are on Advantage plans, they can make a one-time switch to another Advantage plan or go back to Medicare. Um, okay, the next question is about prescription coverage, but I think maybe we better take a break. I think it's going to take longer than 50 seconds. So <laughs> you're, listening, <laughs> you're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Bronx. Hey. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, pharmacists Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now by visiting MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. We'll be back with more of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy in just a moment. Probably about the only station I listen to. Canton's Morning News, live and local with Jordan Miller and the Kenny and JT Show. I like that it's local. News Talk 1480 WHBC. I love listening to you guys so much. I'm so glad I found this radio station. This is the right place. Cleveland Clinic Mercy Hospital wants you to know we are here for you literally and virtually. For our patient safety, Mercy is providing virtual doctor appointments from the comfort of your home. This service is available for Stat Care Urgent Care, seven days a week, and Mercy Primary Care, Monday through Friday. See our website at cantonmercy.org slash telehealth for office and appointment hours. Mercy Telehealth visits are simple, convenient, and can be utilized by anyone who has access to a smartphone, tablet, or computer. Our Mercy representatives are ready and happy to assist you. So whether you are in need of urgent care for minor illnesses and injuries or would like a one-on-one -on -one with a Mercy primary care physician, Mercy is here for you. Cleveland Clinic Mercy Hospital Telehealth Appointments. Learn more at cantonmercy.org slash telehealth. That's cantonmercy.org slash telehealth. Online appointments are considered medical services and will be billed to your insurance. Copays and deductibles apply. Saving money is awesome. Saving money on items you actually use? Fantastic. Hi, Paul White for the Half Off and Out by Store in Louisville. If you think you'll find the same low prices, huge variety, or great customer service at any other store, you'd be wrong. Stop into our store in Louisville and see what great deals we have. Follow us on our Facebook page at Half Off Store to see super specials. Why pay full price? Come in and experience the Half Off and Out by Store in Louisville, next to the Medicine Center Pharmacy. 
Brighten your day with beautiful stained glass from Studio Arts and Glass. Let the sun shine in through a stunning beveled glass window that forms a rainbow on your walls. Commission a piece of art to cherish for years. All at Studio Arts and Glass on Apple Grove and 77 in North Canton. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6, or shop online at StudioArtsandGlass.com. That's StudioArtsandGlass.com. Poison ivy can be a real pain and very hard to deal with. Hi, Paul White from the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Let me recommend a product that I have personally used, Poison Ivy Pills. This homeopathic remedy prevents and treats the effects of poison ivy, oak, and sumac. It's completely safe for adults and children, and there aren't any side effects, so ditch the itch and get relief with Poison Ivy Pills at the Medicine Center Pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, and Minerva where wellness begins. We'd like to remind our listeners our program is also available on our podcast. You can search your favorite podcast app for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Listen to our program anytime. You're listening to News Talk 1480 WHBC and Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Now here's your host, Paul White. We are back. We are talking with Altman's Mike Novelli and Denise Fogel from Primetime Health Plan. We have a lot more to cover this morning, so let's get back to the show. Okay, here we are, Part D. <laughs> can you explain the prescription coverage on Part D? I sure can. Part D is Medicare's prescription drug coverage, and you can get it one of two ways. Um, the first way is on its own. Um, you might hear people talk about a standalone Part D plan. Um, that when folks use original Medicare, um, original Medicare doesn't cover Part D, so you got to buy it on its own to get your prescriptions covered. Or you can get it included with a Medicare Advantage plan. Now, the one thing about Part D on its own, um, there's no zero premium Part D plans. However, um, some Medicare Advantage plans include the Part D um, with a zero premium. So that's one thing to kind of keep in mind when looking or deciding on what kind of coverage you need. And Denise, can I just add that um, another value add to our zero premium plan is we have tier one generic drugs, which I'm sure you're going to start talking about the formulary, but we have tier one generic drugs on our zero premium plan that have zero copay. So again, a person that doesn't have a drug plan um, and enrolls beginning at age 65 into our zero premium plan can actually get almost 170 different medications for zero copay. So let's talk about formulary. You know, I think in any industry, we all have some complicated words that are intimidating and are often difficult for patients to understand. And formulary is one of those words. Can you break down what formulary means and why it's important for patients to make sure that they understand what the formulary covers with relation to their medication uh, lists? And that's a great question. And I always tell folks, formulary is just a fancy name for list of medications. <laughs> um, it's important to remember that each, um, each formulary, or each insurance company has um, a listing of meds. Um, each medication is classified by a tier. And depending on the tier the medication falls in will determine the cost of that drug. Typically, there are five or six tiers in a Part D plan. And tier one is usually the least expensive, in many cases, a zero copay. And tier five is usually reserved for specialty medications where you have a coinsurance of like 30% of the cost of the drug. So if it's a tier one drug, it's going to be very inexpensive. Tier two, it goes up a little bit. Tier three, a little bit more. Tier four, a little bit more. And then that tier five um, is the most expensive. There are some plans rolling out tier six 
medications. Typically, those are preventive meds at zero. I'm not really sure why they've chosen to add another layer of complexity, mm. but I just thought I'd throw that out. That's a great point. So as, as you go through those tiers on that formulary, is it fair to say that it's, there's probably more of a cost sharing with the patient as you go up into your number? Or is that not always the same? Or is that not always an accurate statement? That's, that's pretty accurate, Brad, that for the most part. Now, there may be some one-off plans out there that I'm not aware of, but for the most part, when you're doing a search, and this is what members really need to do, they need to engage with somebody like Denise or a salesperson that can help them and list their drugs so that Denise can tell them exactly how much each one of their medications are going to be based upon where they appear in the formulary. And, you know, and just to do an aside on that, too, you know, many a times we've had patients in the pharmacy ask us, okay, I like this plan. This one drug isn't on their formulary. What do I do? And oftentimes we can work with the patient and the provider to help them find a drug in the same drug family that is on the formulary. Because it's, I think I was going to say very rare, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's always going to be a drug in one of the families that's covered on a formulary. There's not going to be an exclusion usually. So there's always options. Um, so don't be afraid to talk to your pharmacist or your primary care doctor to make sure that you understand what your options are. You're, it's not always black and white. So now let's talk about the donut hole. I don't know about everybody else, but the only donut holes I like are the ones you eat and I shouldn't be eating them anyway. But let's talk about donut holes and how they relate to Part D coverage and what is it and what happens when you fall into it? <laughs> That's a great question, too. Um, the donut hole is relative to prescription drug coverage. Um, some people might hear the other term, uh, the coverage gap. It's basically the total cost of your drugs will determine if a member will fall in or out of the donut hole. Um, it's important to remember that most people currently pay a copay for their prescriptions, but the copay is just the member's portion, not the full price. So each month you fill a prescription, um, the members pay the copay, but the insurance company pays their portion. Those two figures together is what tracks toward the donut hole. Um, now, members receive a monthly explanation of benefits, and I know sometimes it's a, it's a big stack of papers, but those papers are important because it's going to show the member how close they are to that donut hole. So when your total drug cost exceeds um, $4,130, that would be this year, that is when the member falls into the donut hole or coverage gap. But is there any coverage out there for plans that um, maybe can be purchased to help avoid the donut hole? You know, unless a member has coverage through the Veterans Administration um, or extra help through Social Security or are on Medicaid, unfortunately, folks can't avoid the donut hole. Okay. Now, one, one thing uh, I'll just add, Brad, when members are in the donut hole, um, the federal government has negotiated discounts of 50% on those medications in the donut hole, those expensive medications, and the member pays a 25% co-insurance on that 50% discount. So I like to use an example. Let's say a drug is $1,000 a month, expensive drug. The, the drug is going to be reduced by 50% by the manufacturer, and then you would only pay 25% of that 50%. I know this gets complicated, but that would leave you with owing $125. A lot of people hear wow. that term donut hole and think they have no coverage, but there does continue to be coverage. It just can be a little more expensive than when they had their first dollar coverage at the beginning of the plan year. Okay. So to make this maybe a little more relatable, 
uh, for for listeners. Can you um, give some examples of what coverage is like on original Medicare versus primetime health plan, HMO, POS? Sure. Um, The first thing you need to keep in mind is that original Medicare has deductibles and coinsurances or percentages um, that the member is responsible for. Um, Original Medicare, A and B, there's no out-of-pocket max um, with that. So the charges that you incur, you're going to pay a percentage with no limit. When it comes to Medicare Advantage plans, remember those out-of-pocket maxes we talked about earlier, um, that is your financial liability um, for the year. Let's say you meet your out-of-pocket max in June. Well, you are covered the remainder of the year at 100% for hospital um, and medical costs. So what are some other benefits on primetime health plan, HMOs, POS, that you don't get with original Medicare? With Primetime's HMO POS plans, um, we have a zero uh, dollar premium plan. Um, You could receive up to $500 towards dental or vision. Um, It is a combined benefit. You can also get a no cost gym membership with silver and fit. Um, We include a Part D plan with $0 co-pays for many Tier 1 drugs, as Mike mentioned earlier. And we also have the Insulin Savings Program uh, with select insulins um, for a $35 copay for a 30-day supply. Yep. And we're rolling that benefit out for 2022, and we're excited uh, to have that insulin benefit available We all hear the stories about insulin and the cost of it to seniors, and this will limit their uh, coverage to that $35 copay. And Mm -hmm. um, Denise, on the insulin savings program, does that provide coverage through the coverage gap also? Yes, it does. On our insulin savings programs, folks who um, need to get those insulins would pay the copay the entire year of 35 for a 30-day supply or uh, 105, I believe, for a 90-day supply. Mm-hmm. So you are not affected by the coverage gap on that insulin savings program. So that's a great plus. So the gym membership thing, I know you have several facilities. You've got the one in North Canton, which is really quite active. Uh, is this one on West Tuscarawa Street available also, uh, or is that just for therapy? You know, Paul, I can't answer that question today, and I apologize. Because of COVID, we've limited people oh, yeah. going into uh, the facilities like the one here on Tusk, but it has, okay. it, it has changed it. It, they opened it back up, but then they shut it back down. Because so, I don't really know the answer to that question today. Okay. But most of the YMCA's in this area are in our Silver and Fit program. Hall of Fame Fitness is in our Silver and Fit program. So there are many, many mm. alternatives for people to go and be in a uh, fitness center to help promote their well-being. Okay, I didn't know that, that you were affiliated with other unit, other places. That's really neat. Uh, Hall of Fame, some of those other places are really very nice. So um, that's a good deal. Okay. Okay, gang, time for our last break. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. You're listening to Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, pharmacists Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now by visiting MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. We'll be back with more of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy in just a moment. Are you tired of spending time sorting your medication? Hi, pharmacist Paul White for the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Whether you are a caregiver or personally take medications, our pill packets will change how you take your medication forever. Instead of multiple pill bottles, you'll want to receive one easy dispensing box that contains all of your medications in individual packets. Organized by date, time, with instructions clearly labeled, it's simple, convenient, and safe. Call or stop by your local Medicine Center pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia, where wellness begins. Do you have to blood test because you have diabetes? Is the price of the test strips nearly have you in the poorhouse? At the Medicine Center Pharmacies, we give you, at no charge, a complete test kit with strips as a starter. Then when you purchase more strips, expect a cost savings price of $7.99 for 50. 
A huge savings over many brand name test strips. So stop in any medicine center pharmacy in Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia for info. Also, we have curbside service, drive through windows, and free delivery service. Hi, Paul White from the Medicine Center Pharmacy. In these difficult days, please stay calm and make sure your medical and healthcare supplies are well stocked. Make sure you have Kleenex, acetaminophen or Tylenol, ibuprofen or Advil, Mucinex, Robitussin, or Dayquil, cough drops, maybe even a humidifier or a vaporizer. You can also just turn the shower on hot and sit in the bathroom breathing in the steam. How about vitamin D and a probiotic? So take care of yourselves and don't stress about the coronavirus. Make sure you get plenty of rest and plenty of healthy food. The Medicine Center Pharmacy, Canton, Louisville, Minerva, and New Philadelphia. Poison ivy can be a real pain and very hard to deal with. Hi, Paul White from the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Let me recommend a product that I have personally used, Poison Ivy Pills. This homeopathic remedy prevents and treats the effects of poison ivy, oak, and sumac. It's completely safe for adults and children, and there aren't any side effects, so ditch the itch and get relief with Poison Ivy Pills at the Medicine Center Pharmacies in Canton, Louisville, and Minerva, where wellness begins. We'd like to remind our listeners our program is also available on our podcast. You can search your favorite podcast app for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Listen to our program anytime. You're listening to News Talk 1480 WHBC and Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Now here's your host, Paul White. We are back. Good morning. And we are talking with Mike Novelli, Vice President of Altcare, and Denise Fogel, Primetime Sales Representative. So, what would be a reason that, that one would switch from a Medicare supplement to a Medicare Advantage plan? That's a good question. And I get asked that quite a bit. Um, usually, folks on Medicare supplement plans, those premiums are high. And remember, with a Medicare supplement plan, you're carrying around three cards, your Medicare card, your supplement plan card, and then your drug plan card. Um, Usually, it's the cost savings. A Medicare Advantage plan, remember, it's kind of like a one-stop shop. Low monthly premiums, prescriptions may or may not be included, and then you pay as you go. The other thing to add to that is that when you first uh, become eligible for Medicare at age 65, your Medicare supplement uh, prices are pretty reasonable, just a little over $100 a month. But every year you age, your premium goes up for a Medicare supplement. So if you get into your early to mid-70s, you can be paying as much as $200 a month. The beauty of a Medicare Advantage plan, we have three plans that have drug coverage. You have a zero premium plan, a $39 premium plan, and an $89 premium plan. And that premium is the same whether you're 65 or 95. So as people age, they start to look at Medicare Advantage a little more favorably because the cost differential becomes prohibitive for many seniors on fixed incomes. So can we jump back and forth between one of those three plans? Yes, you can. During open enrollment, only okay. you can change plans. Also, it, yeah, the bottom line is you pick a plan. If you, if you look at another plan, like we have people that maybe have the $89 plan, that's our Cadillac, if you will. They may decide that they don't need as much coverage, and they may move down to the 39 We've had seniors who start out in a zero premium plan, but then as they start to use more services, they might decide that that $39 plan is right for them. So every year they can change during that open enrollment, that annual election period. I have to be careful and use the right term uh, from October 15th to December 7th. Okay. So, so earlier in our discussion, we talked about, I don't know if I can get this straight or not, but, but we talked about something that might happen in your health care year that would allow you to switch. Now, is that with an Advantage plan or not? That, that was with an Advantage plan, and Denise talked about that. Um, Advantage plans, you have to reside in the area. Like, for instance, primetime, we're in a 12-county region that goes, you know, Stark, Tusk, down to Carroll, and, and down to Holmes County. And we go all the way to Mahoning County on the 
east side of the state. But let's say you would move to Columbus. That would be a point in time where you would lose coverage from prime time and you would get a new coverage through in Columbus so that you're covered in that area. The other thing that Denise mentioned was if you if your income changes as such that you're uh, eligible for extra help from the government, that allows you to change plans as well. And then if you get institutionalized in a nursing home, that's also a special enrollment event. So there are typical things that would make your current plan not work so well that would allow you to change plans. Okay, so the reason I asked that question was because, all right, let's say um, I'm on one of these plans and I all of a sudden get a horrendous prescription drug uh, scheme of things, and my prescription copays go to the moon. Is that a reason for me to switch? That would not be a reason for you to switch, but uh, in certain circumstances, you do have the ability to appeal the decision and make a request for a tier exception, if you will, and and so there are things available to you to contact your plan and see if you can get some financial relief based upon an appeal that you would file with the plan. Doesn't always happen, but it is available. Sure. Okay, very interesting. Um, how can I obtain more information on the plans that Primetime has to offer? Well, Great. you go ahead, Denise. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, that's a great question. Um, you can contact our customer service department. Um, They're open seven days a week from October 1st to March 31st um, from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. Um, you can call us at 330-363-7407 or 1-800-577-5084. Um, you could also visit our website and get information at www.p thp.com and request a brochure. Okay, and I assume that either calling those phone numbers or visiting your website is probably an avenue to sign up for a primetime health plan if our listeners uh, are inclined to do that? Absolutely. Uh, you can self-help yourself and then roll online at pthp.com, and that stands for Primetime Health Plan, obviously. You can call our office and make an appointment with Denise or one of our other sales representatives. Um, if you want someone to come out to your house, we can arrange for that. If you're a shut-in, um, we have tried to facilitate through webinars and electronic delivery of our services in this pandemic era so that we can deliver services in any way a potential member would like it. And we will provide that help to you either on the phone, online, or in person, whatever you are comfortable with. All right. Well, it's been very informative today. We have about two and a half minutes left. I'd like to know, Mike and Denise, if you have some parting thoughts you'd like to leave listeners with. And uh, we really appreciate your, your knowledge this morning to clarify a lot of these complex issues. Well, I would just like to add that I think that Primetime Health Plan differentiates itself because we are part of the community that we live in. We always have a live person answer the phone at primetime. You don't have to figure out which, which button on your phone to push to get to where you want to go. We have people who live in our community that answer the phone and help you, and they have a vested interest. Just like you at the Medicine Center are part of this community, we are part of the fabric of this community, and we want to lead our community to better health, and we're concerned about your well-being. So those are the, really the cornerstones of what we do at prime time and what we want to do for our community. Okay, I think we are sort of out of time. <laughs> okay, we are. very, very interesting conversation today, and I really appreciate both of you coming on the air. Um, it, it cleared some things for me and a refresher for me and, and that sort of thing, and I'm sure a lot of people out there the same issue. So thank you to our guest, Mike Novelli, Vice President of All Care, Denise Fogel, Primetime Sales Representative. We'd like to remind our listeners, if you suspect you have a medical issue, please contact your health care provider. Thanks to our sponsor, Studio Arts and Glass, and, of course, our technical producer, J.D. DeAngelis. I'd also like to throw a shout-out here to Nancy Warmby, who's our Executive Vice President of Medicine Center Pharmacies. She writes all of these programs, and she interfaces with all the doctors and all the guests. 
and she really puts together a sensational program that makes it easy for us. As always, we thank our listeners for joining us on Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. Have a healthy week, and we'll see you again next Friday right here on News Talk 1480 WHBC. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy and your hosts, your pharmacists, Paul White and Brad White. Remember, you can get more information right now at MedShopRx.com. That's M-E-D-S-H-O-P-R-X.com. Be sure to join us next Friday at this time for Health Matters with the Medicine Center Pharmacy. The preceding program was sponsored by the Medicine Center Pharmacies.